I thought it would be a cool idea for you guys to actually be able to see um, to see Lenore Brick Castle if you haven't ever seen it before. And there's actually a quite cool video that shows it. So if I go to the channel Walk With Me Tim Norbrick, this guy, this guy's quite a cool little channel actually. He does like walking tours. And yeah, he's done this video. He's done a video where he Welcome to Michael Owen's World Lee Soccer 99. The Norbeck Have Castle fun. Hotel. So yeah, they're really cool videos, aren't they? Woke up here. So yeah, I thought I would show it. Needles and dead pigeons. With over a lot on the town's landscape. Terrible reviews saying worst experience ever, absolutely filthy, and do not stay here. Yeah, and he's done Check the and he's done the grand burst in the Home Nice to see that the window has <laughs> got paint on it. Yep, paint so from like the, the new paint job. This got paint Even the pigeons are on drugs, yeah. <laughs> Literally the walls. It was that good you're going back here though. This hotel yeah, pigeons in the water tanks. Think of it as outside of a hut. Oh god, those walls. Doesn't get cleaned very often. It's a faux castle. Yes, it's quite an old building. Yeah, he's done some really nice fits. I really like his channel. Oh god, look at that. Somebody picked their nose and tried to turn the light on in the middle of the night. And yet you have some fins in this hotel, like that roof, that light that you just saw. <laughs> You do have some things that do look pretty grand. Like, look at that! Oh yeah, it is a bloody Britannia. Yeah, absolutely. It is absolutely a Britannia. God, there it is. God. Been here so many times. So this is where all the action takes place in Blackpool, folks. This is where Play Expo Blackpool is held and where most of the attendees stay. <laughs> Yes, and that is, and that's a that's a theme through like most Britannia hotels. Woke up here, faded grandeur. It's like all the Britannia hotels videos that this guy has done are like this. Although I have to say, of all of, I've seen all of them, the Norbrecks the worst. This is but this is the exhibition hall. So this is where like in there is where like the Play Expo is actually held. <laughs> Indeed, Matt. It is a bit overlook. Yes. That's the one elevator. The single elevator. There is only one elevator. <laughs> yes, yeah, not a big lift map. <laughs> and uh, disabled facilities. Uh... <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, that fucking carpet, I know. Bought in straight from Weatherspoons. So obviously I've gone for a single room. Oh god, yeah, the Weatherspoon single rooms, fucking now. He, I, I'm, this might, I might have actually stayed. I'm, I can't remember. I might have stayed in this exact room one year, for one night. I do not get paid a penny to do this show. And it really wasn't great. I mean, thankfully, I was knackered. It was like the last night, so I was able to sleep. But I could hear people fucking. It does. Generally, generally the place does not smell great. It's like a double wardrobe. And you can always hear the wind through the pipes. Check out the bathroom. You can always fucking hear everything going on in every room all at once, it seems. It occurs to you that they should host it somewhere else. Um, there's often been talk. There's often been talk of taking it to the Winter Gardens. Which is, obviously, like, in the centre is much more, like... The thing with the Norbrick, oh, it's weird. You just can't dine it is kind of, it's, it's like a retro really event in a retro venue room. almost. Hello, can I have some champagne up to the room? <laughs> Classy. Oh, God, the but Britannia in Manchester. That place looks horrific. Now, ah, well, yeah, you, you can't go on with Premio Inn, Matt. Pounds, but they do, they oh, God, yeah, the beds are really yeah. uncomfortable. So the beds are not great. <laughs> and make a cup of tea. And they always have this same old style furniture, like this That's furniture that like you see, this desk and that, is in every fucking hotel that they do. <laughs> Your Ibis experience was a guy shouting outside someone else's room that he was a millionaire. If he was, he wouldn't be in a budget hotel. <laughs> yeah, fair point. I mean, yeah, look at that. I mean, there, there is, you find stuff in that, like, you find stuff like that in, in this place and, like, random rooms, like, random meeting rooms, conference rooms that have probably barely been used. 
and it's like, holy shit, look at this. These hotels. This is right to the side of uh, where Play Expo is held. I mean, this really does... The useful thing about this back entrance is that I actually, when you're doing the Play Expo, the back entrance is really fucking useful because you're literally right outside a corner shop and a place to get decent coffee because the coffee here is fucking awful. The biggest threat in this hotel is not like the clientele that's in it. It's not like getting drunk and having a fight. The biggest threat to your life in the Norbrick, not like the conditions or anything, is Lee's doors. Lee's doors. Lee's doors, I'm amazed they haven't killed anyone. Honestly. Especially like if when you go there like in the autumn and the wind's up. Like, you let this door go when you go out and it goes, RUM! RUM! Like, it's a wonder. Like, if there's some old, if I like, and I think, oh my god, you have to be so careful. Because, like, if someone's behind you, close to, bit, a bit too close, they will get fucking BAM! Their neck will break from the force of the impact. <laughs> It's like, Jesus, yeah, just people just get fucking doored. Because, well, it's not necessarily a slammer. It's because it's a double door. It just goes like, whoosh. <laughs> you have to be really careful. I mean, one time, I, I, one time as it was shutting, I put my hand on there too much and it almost broke my hand. Like, not, not because I was anywhere near, like, the bit where it, like, they, they, they meet. Just because I had my hand on there for just a little bit too long as the door was shutting. It was like, whoa, fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, these doors, you have to watch the fuck out. Just just a pro tip for anyone who's thinking of coming this year. Little pro tip. <laughs> Do an Indiana Jones roll. Yeah, indeed, exactly, Matt. I've never actually eaten at the uh, restaurant Welcome here in the North the Never eaten here. I couldn't face it. Ah, uh, yes, had way too many pints in here. <laughs> way too many pints in the Copper Jacks. Lots of drinking in here. Drinks are pretty cheap, although they have actually got a bit more expensive. This is everything you hoped for and less. <laughs> way too many drinks in here and the hotel bar. Yeah, you drink to forget the Norbeck in the Norbeck. Absolutely, Trista. But see, again, nice there's something... I mean, if actually. if if you got a bit of TLC, I mean, yeah, it's, that's a nice place to have a sunset and that. Oh, yes, absolutely, Northeast because Snake bites and black, yeah. Yes, the bar does not take card. No card, no chance. Cash only. And there's one cash machine in a hotel, and it does work. Fortunately, again, if you go out in the back, like I said, corner shop there, card machine. So, yeah, you don't have to use the one in Norbert. Just, again, pro tips. I've never seen the cinema open. I don't think it's been open for many years. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, there probably are more hotels in Blackpool than there are people, yes. Presidential sweet miles. Oh, you know, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny you say. It. I remember one year. <laughs> one year. Uh, come, come on, a couple of years ago, pre-COVID. Um, Neil was at the... Uh, expo uh neil and like his mates as in omc neil um <laughs> and they were like oh we're gonna make the most of this we're gonna stay in the president we're gonna stay in the penthouse um we're going to um we're gonna get smoking jackets we'll get a fondant set they were gonna do all that sort of thing oh he said it was fucking terrifying he said literally uh it was wobbling in the wind and so he couldn't get to sleep Everything was wobbling. <laughs> so yeah, the the like I think he envisioned like oh inviting us all up to the room so we could have like a proper seventies party we could all have fucking fondue or whatever. I don't know. Smoke Hamlet cigars. I've no fucking idea. It didn't work out that way. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> There was no party. <laughs> they went they went down to the ground floor where it was safe. <laughs> this is a very similar fireplace. <laughs> Look at this grand fireplace that's been, been hidden behind a garden. fucking gumball machine. <laughs> a grand fireplace hidden behind a gumball machine. <laughs> oh, I love this place so much. Tim's summary. As I was it wasn't the bad. Hotel, as always, it it, it, it could have been worse. 
He is very tell. kind, is Tim. They really do <laughs> need a little bit of TLC. I think it might have been out of order. TLC oh, the beds are terrible. Parts of the, roof the beds are really terrible, woke up here. Hard to sleep on them. This wing of the hotel, the floors are actually disgusting. It wasn't covered in anthrax and fire, therefore 7 out of 10. <laughs> no one stabbed me with a screwdriver. 4 out of 5. <laughs> from the Britannia Hotel, this time in Scarborough. Make sure you just click here. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click the notification bell. Oh, wow. Oh, oh God, we are great. A Britannia in Coventry. It's not a very quiet hotel. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> and I can hear people bonking. <laughs> I'm not getting a good night's sleep. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> not getting a good night's sleep. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a surprising thing, Grassman. Yeah, the one thing he didn't mention, it's like, I, I don't know, yeah, he is quite kind, because, yeah, he didn't mention the stench. The stench in the hotel. Ugh. The one and only time you stayed overnight, the room next door was paid a visit by police. <laughs> the two occupants got an upgrade to Blackpool Police Station. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, as soon, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, oh God, yeah, as soon as you walk into the lobby of the Norbeck, the stench just hits you. It's like, oof, smacks you in the face. And whenever you walk in there, especially like when you walk in there, like in the morning, mid morning, like 10 o'clock or whatever, like whenever you, whenever you go past the lobby, I mean, I kind of feel for the staff there, especially the guys working on the front desk, because fucking hell, it is always so busy. Like, the lobby is so fucking busy. Like, there is all, like, there's always a queue, a big queue, leading out almost into Copper Face Jacks. <laughs> it's always so big. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, Tristan. Yeah, maybe they just knew it's coming. It's like, quick, get the fucking Febreze. Jesus. Clear out the corner shop. We need all the Febreze. <laughs> yes, in, yes, indeed. Exactly. One time. Yeah, last time. Yeah, the Sunday. Because last Sunday I didn't stay at the Norbrook. I stayed like fairly close by. Um, yeah. Sunday morning. Well, yeah, really, Minty. I was, yeah. Um, Sunday morning I come in and I'm greeted. Like, again, there's a massive long queue. And as, as there always is. And yeah, the guy, the girl at the front, yeah, is shouting. Shouting. Um, shouting at the poor receptionist. The blood on the walls. The dirt. The shit. The shit up the, the everywhere. The shit on the floor! <laughs> I've got COPD, I can't deal with this! <laughs> oh, and this. Oh, you need me to speak to the manager. I, ne I can't speak to the man. I need to speak to the manager now! Fucking shout in the place. And I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and he was like, yep, yeah, another satisfied customer. And it's like, I imagine they get that a so lot. You 